this is why we got the liquid spring. What's going on guys, happy new year. As you can probably tell from that intro, this video is all about our liquid spring suspension system. If you saw our Operation Home for the Holidays video, then you know that we just traveled 3,500 miles across the country from Washington to North Carolina up to Maryland to surprise our families for Christmas. And I figured that after traveling so far in a short amount of time that it was a great time to do a two year review of our suspension system from Liquid Spring. But before we get to that, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, we are the Adventure Tunity family. We sold our house and most of our belongings three and a half years ago to travel the country full time in our RV. And it has been an absolutely amazing adventure. So we are happy to have you here with us. So let's get on with our review of our liquid spring suspension system. full transparency I will tell you that we did work with liquid spring on getting this system installed on our RV but this is an absolute full-on honest review of what I think of the system so if you have any questions or any thoughts about the comments I make in this video please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you okay so with all that being said our setup is as follows we have a 2017 holiday rambler vacationer model 36 H it is 37 feet long. It is built on a Ford F53 chassis with a 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. We have the full four corner liquid spring system installed, which means we have it in the rear and the front of our coach. And before we had that installed, we had no prior suspension or steering upgrades done. So it was fully stock when we had the liquid spring system put on. We have been living in it full time for almost three and a half years. And in that time, we've put over 30,000 miles on the RV. When we got the system installed in October of 2021, we had 15,425 miles on the RV. Today, we have 36,100 miles on the RV. So we have put about 20,675 miles on the RV with the liquid spring system installed which is kind of crazy to think but that just means that we have been to a lot of amazing places and seen a lot of cool things so i have a lot to say about how the rv handled before and how it has handled since we got the system installed so let's get into the nitty-gritty before we get too far down the road i wanted to give you a better idea of what the liquid spring suspension system actually is in a nutshell it is an active suspension system versus the stock passive system and what I mean by that is that the liquid spring is constantly monitoring multiple variables, including steering input, acceleration and braking input, row conditions, to basically smooth out the ride and make it a much more pleasurable driving experience. First thing I wanna talk about is the test drive. If you go to any of these big RV shows like Tampa or Hershey, or if you go into any of the bigger rallies like FMCA, you may have an opportunity to test drive a coach with the liquid spring system installed. The guys from liquid spring will be there and they can run you through a test drive. And if you have the opportunity, I highly recommend doing it because it's a pretty cool experience. The one thing I will say is that if you take the test drive and you fall in love with the system, which you will, and you decide to get it installed on your coach, keep in mind that the test drive coach has no cargo. It has no water, it has nothing in it. So it's empty, so it's definitely lighter than yours most likely will be. The first thing I noticed after we got the system installed was that even though the ride was greatly improved, it was a little bit different than the test drive. So that's just something to keep in mind because your coach will most likely be heavier than the coach that you test drive. <laughs> next thing I want to talk about is the install. We had our system installed at the Liquid Spring headquarters in Lafayette, Indiana. 
and we had an amazing experience. The staff there is super kind. They're very nice and welcoming and very helpful. The techs that did the install on the coach itself are obviously very knowledgeable about everything. They're super efficient. We were there for about four or five days as the system was being installed and that may be shorter or longer than your experience depending on how busy they are at the time but um, the system went in what we felt like was relatively quickly and we were very happy with how the whole process went and it was really cool to see how well made the product actually is we got to take a tour of the manufacturing plant and see how all the parts are made almost all the parts of the system are made in-house there in Lafayette and they are all designed specifically for the chassis that the system is being installed on so everything is nearly bolt on there was very little welding that needed to be done on our coach and it was pretty cool to see how everything came together and as a side note i'm a gearhead so i've been working on cars for years and years and years and i have to say that the liquid spring install area and manufacturing area was absolutely one of the cleanest and tidiest automotive work environments that I have been in in my life. One thing to know before you go and get your liquid spring system installed is this, and this is very important. As a matter of practice, when you go for your install, liquid spring is going to weigh your coach before and after to make sure that you are still within range of your vehicle weight ratings. We went in there and we were actually a couple hundred pounds over our gross vehicle weight rating. So we had to remove a bunch of stuff from our coach. The liquid spring system in our case was a few hundred pounds heavier than our stock suspension system. So not only did we have to remove weight to get ourselves below our gross vehicle weight rating, we had to remove a little bit extra to compensate for that extra weight that the system was going to put on the coach. That may not be the case for you, depending on which chassis you're having your system installed on. They're not gonna send you out of there with your vehicle above your gross vehicle weight rating. So make sure you, one, know what your gross vehicle weight rating is, and two, that you show up well underneath that in terms of the weight that you have on board. So let's get to the meat and potatoes of this review and talk about how much of an improvement the liquid spring is over the stock suspension. And the answer to that in a nutshell is quite a bit. So as we left Liquid Spring after our install, we headed out on a six hour trip, which was several hundred miles right off the bat. And I noticed immediately that I was going to have to relearn to drive our coach. So in the 10,000 miles that I had driven it prior to our Liquid Spring install, I had gotten used to how the stock suspension handled. But as you go over a big bump or over a, a, a rise and drop in the road, you go over it and with leaf spring suspension you sort of continue to bounce a little bit as all that energy is dissipated out of the springs when you go over a same kind of bump with the liquid spring system you go up it bounces once and then the system catches it and stops and levels out and it's immediate and it was something that i actually had to get used to because I was always expecting that residual bouncing. I was always uh, expecting that residual swaying that came along with a long sweeping turn or a big bump in the road. And now that we had liquid spring, most of that was gone. One of the coolest things about the liquid spring suspension system is that it comes with adjustable comfort settings. So you've got sport, normal and comfort. And if you've ever driven a car that has adjustable settings, it's kind of similar to that where you can tune the suspension to the kind of driving that you like to do. The difference with the liquid spring system is that the liquid spring is not adjusting the amount of dampening that the shocks is, are giving. It's adjusting the reaction time of that dampening. So when you are in the sport setting on the liquid spring, it's going to react very quickly to changing road conditions or changing steering conditions. When you are in the comfort setting, it's going to react a little bit slower and that's what's going to provide a little bit more of that 
uh, feeling of a softer ride. As I was playing with all the settings shortly after the install and getting to know the system and how everything works, I found that I liked the sport setting as the driver because I had the most amount of control for Christy and Cade and Sierra. They like the comfort setting. So it was a lot more cushiony for them in the comfort setting. So where we ended up settling out was now we keep it on the normal setting because that's kind of the best of both worlds where I feel like I have the control that I want and the response that I want and they have the comfort that they want as the passengers. The other level of adjustability that you have is a height adjustment and it was something that I didn't really think was going to be that big of a deal but it ended up being a really cool benefit because we love to boondock and we love to take our coach kind of to different places off the beaten path that a lot of times you wouldn't see an A-class going to. So from stock ride height, I can take the coach up three and a half inches or I can take it down three and a half inches. So that's a whole seven inches of ride height adjustment that we now have. Now, to be clear, it is only under 15 miles an hour. So if I take it up three and a half inches to navigate uh, some uneven terrain. If I get going faster than 15 miles an hour, it's going to bring it back to standard height. If I lower it for any reason to the low setting, if I get up over 15 miles an hour, it's going to automatically take us back to standard ride height so that as you're cruising, you're always going to be at that standard ride height. So where would this be useful? You may ask. As I mentioned before, we like to boondock. So I'll take the coach up to three and a half up to that high setting because I know I'm not going to be going 15 miles an hour above 15 miles an hour on those sketchy roads, but it gives me that extra three and a half inches of ground clearance that allows me to navigate some of those rutted or rocky roads that otherwise I might bottom out on. When we get to where we are and we get parked, then I can lower it all the way down to the bottom and then level from there. It starts our leveling process from a lower center of gravity. So having that height adjustment is actually pretty cool. I've used it more than I thought I would as we get to some of our boondocking spots. In terms of the overall improvement that we've gotten from the liquid spring versus the stock suspension, it's just a more comfortable ride. It's more comfortable for Christy and the kids as passengers. It's more comfortable for me as the driver. I also feel like I have a higher level of control. I can feel the steering inputs and braking, accelerating, braking and accelerating inputs a lot more precisely. And I feel like overall there's a lot less sway and a lot less porpoising, they call it, as, the, as you're going down the road. Basically the, the ride just smooths out a lot. There is one thing I want to note about harsh bumps. So with harsh bumps, whether it be a pothole, whether it be expansion joints, whether it be just cracked or deteriorated roadways, you're going to hear the bumps very similar with the liquid spring as you did to your stock suspension. And what I mean by that is when you hit a pothole, you hear that pothole, your tire drops in, it comes back out of it. You hear it sort of reverberate through the coach. That is similar both with liquid spring and with stock suspension. The difference is in what it feels like. And you'll notice that you hear it the same, but after a while you realize that the impact is greatly reduced with the liquid spring. Another big aspect that I appreciate a lot is when driving in windy conditions. That's one of the most fatiguing things about driving a large vehicle because you're constantly providing input on the steering wheel and you're constantly trying to keep yourself in a lane as the the wind speeds change and it's just something that takes a lot of mental awareness as you're driving down the road. The liquid spring system helps counteract that in a big way so I have to provide less feedback on the steering wheel to keep us in our lane. Similar to the wind when I get passed by a semi truck the impact of that is greatly reduced so before with the stock suspension I would see the truck coming and kind of have to to counteract that truck passing me before it even got to me. Now with liquid spring I almost don't even notice when the trucks go by and it's really pretty amazing 
how much the system works to counteract the forces of other vehicles and the forces of wind as they're pushing on it. No matter what kind of road conditions or weather conditions we're in, it gives me a better level of feel and feedback from the road and that gives me more confidence in what I'm doing as the driver and it also reduces fatigue over long stretches of driving. In situations where we're taking on ramps or off ramps or we're taking tight turns in small towns, we have less lean and less sway in the RV overall and we have better control as we're navigating those turns. And in terms of comfort for Christy and the kids as passengers, I think this video of Sierra sleeping in her seat soundly <laughs> should speak volumes about that. As we're winding down here, the last thing I want to do is go through a few of the pros and cons of the liquid spring system and adding it to your coach. On the pro side, it's just a more comfortable and pleasurable ride. You will notice that as you are driving or as you are riding down the road, that the improvement is immediate and it is fantastic. The next pro is that the system actually provides more confidence for the driver of the coach. And what I mean by that is sometimes there are situations that you don't want to happen as you're, as you're driving, whether it's somebody cutting you off or traffic is, is slowing down rapidly in front of you and you have to jam on the brakes or there's something in the road that you have to make a quick lane change and avoid. I feel like the liquid spring system reacts a lot quicker than the stock system. The last pro is that the system is pretty much maintenance free. I asked uh, the text before we left what I had to monitor or what I had to keep an eye on or anything like that. They said, as long as you don't see any fluid leaking anywhere, there's really nothing that you have to do that the system is maintenance free. And in the 20,000 miles and two plus years that we've had it on our RV, I've not had to do anything to it other than turn it on and off and, and use it as normal. So there's not a lot of, of upgrades that you can do to a vehicle that are, that are maintenance free, but this is one of them. And I'm pretty thankful for that because it's one less thing I have to worry about. All right, so let's talk about the cons and there's only a couple. The first one is the price. It is a pretty pricey system for sure, but it is very well made and it is very well supported. So when you're talking about quality and performance, you are getting the best of the best. If you are like us and you live full time in your coach or you take very long trips in your coach and spend months at a time in it, this is something that's going to be a very big performance and comfort improvement that very well could be worth it for you. I do not know what the system costs today and obviously for the different chassis that they have available, it may vary. The best thing I can recommend is to call Liquid Spring directly and they can give you that information. The second con is that it has the potential to add some weight to your coach. And as we know, as RVers, weight and space are two very valuable things to us. Now, this could depend on the kind of chassis that you have that you're, or the kind of coach that you are having the system installed on. So that may vary and that information will be available from Liquid Spring. As I mentioned earlier, our Holiday Rambler is built on a Ford F53 chassis and obviously Liquid Spring makes a system to fit that. And if you already own your coach, you can have the system installed aftermarket like we did. Or if you're looking to buy a new Holiday Rambler, whether it be a Vacationer or any of the other gas models that they build, there is an option to have the system installed directly at the factory so that you can enjoy the system from day one when you get your new coach delivered. All right, that is going to do it for today's review video of our liquid spring suspension system. I hope it's been helpful information for you. If you have any questions for us or thoughts that you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I'll also put the contact information for Liquid Spring in the description so that you can reach out to them directly if you have any other questions or if you'd like to find out where they are going to be to give you an opportunity to take a test drive of their system at one of the shows that they may be at. Go seek adventure and embrace opportunity. We'll see you in the next one.